everyone, welcome to Unit 6, Week 4, Day 3. So we are going to start with some phonemic awareness, and we are going to be listening to sounds and putting it together into a word. So let's begin. S-b-l-a-sh, splash. S-b-l-it, split. s b r e m, spring. sh r a g Shrug. Sk er a uh, b scrub. St er it strip. Th er o oh, throw. Okay, this is our third day, so I will help you with the three letter blend and then I'll give you three seconds. So spur three, two, one, spray. Skr three, two, one, scream. Spool, three, two, one, split. Stir, three, two, one, stroke. Thur, three, two, one, three. Shur, three, two, one, shrink. Skr, three, two, one, scratch. Stir, three, two, one, straw. Thur, three, two, one, throat. Stir, three, two, one, stretch. Okay, so I'll help you with the first part and then I'll do three, two, one. Thur, three, two, one, thread. Now, this can say a or e, so three isn't a word, but thread is. Skr, three, two, one, script. Spool, three, two, one, split. Spur, three, two, one, spring. Stir, three, two, one, straw. Remember, AW says ah, ah. And last of all, sure, three, two, one, shrimp. Okay, here are our, here are our sounds. Stir. E, thur, ing, sure, ow, or o, i, skr, e, or a, sh, a, ch, uh, one second. a, m, il, ub. Oh, oops. So let me circle our three letter blends. Stir, sure, thur, and skirt. Okay, so let's blend these. This time we'll do it together. Stir, street. Stir, strong. Thur, thrill. Spring. Sure, ink. Stir, strike. Thur, throne. Stir, stripe. Skr, scrub. Splash. Now we're going to just try and read it across. Stream. Screen. So you'll notice I'm not going really, really fast, but I am going fast enough that I can hear all the sounds. So this time you get to do it in your head. So think of that three letter blend. And this can be E or E. So three, two, one, threat. If you said threat, E, A does say E, but today it's going to say E because threat is not a word, but threat is, let me go down here. Three, two, one, thread. So once again, we have E, A and it says E. Three, Two, one, straw. A W says ah. Three, two, one, scratched. And E D means it's happening in the past. Three, two, one, scratching means it's happening right now. Three, two, one, strolled. It means it happened in the past. You walked or strolled in the past. Three, two, one, strolling 
means it's happening right now. Three, two, one. Throwing ing means it's happening right now. And this is actually supposed to be T H R. Three, two, one. Throbbed. So if, so if your heart throbbed, it's like, I think it hurts if your heart's throbbing. Okay, so three, two, one, scrubbed. And once again, these are both in the past. ED means it happened in the past. Okay, last one right now is three, two, one, spraying. So SPR says spur, and ING means it's happening right now. Okay, let's read this sentence together. He can stretch the string. So you wouldn't want to say stir ing, ing. ing says ing. Uh, let me go back with that and we will continue. Okay, here's our next sentence. Can you, oh, sorry. Can you scroll the screen? So that means like move it. Okay, so once again, we are talking about ED and ING. ED means it happened in the past. And ing means it's happening now. Now I'm going to add one more, will. Will means it's happening in the future. It will happen. So we have scrape. Scrape becomes in the past, scraped in the past, ed. I don't know why it does that. Okay, um, now we're going to cross off the e at ing. Scrape becomes scraping. It's happening right now. And if it's going to happen in the future, we'd say will scrape. I hope you will not scrape your knee when you go outside. Okay, here's the next one, scratch. So if it's in the past, add ED, scratched. ED means it's in the past. If it's happening now, it's scratch -ing. happening right now. And in the future, will scratch. Okay, here's another one. This is knit. So if you're making something, you knit it, make it out of yarn. So if it's in the past, it's knitted, knitted. If it's happening right now, it's knitting, happening right now. And if it's in the future, will knit. Just bring that top one down here. Will knit. Okay, last of all, spruce. If it happened in the past, we add spruce ed even though it says spruce spruced yeah even though it has a t sound it still ends with ed and it's in the past okay next if i want it to be happening now spruce ing ing means it's happening right now sprucing and in the future would be will spruce okay so here are your alphabet letter um spelling Here's your spelling with these blend, uh, three letter blends. STR, STR, stir, stir, stir. SCR, SCR, skr, skr, skr. SPR, SPR, spur, spur, spur. SPL, SPL, spool, spool, spool. STR, STR, stir, stir, stir. Okay, here um, we are going to read this story. Oh, whoops, I skipped a, page, skipped a spot. So let's blend this, scroll. Let's blend this stretch. Let's blend this. Scrub. Blend. Spray. Blend. Scratch. Okay, now let's read this last part. Can you scroll down the screen? Okay, here is our story for today. Three shrimp. Here are some words we'll see. What? There. Were. Only. Push. And here's the story. Three, shrimp. The king sat down on his throne. There's his throne. He clapped his hands. Striped fish for supper, please. He screeched. That means he said it like this. He gave the same order each night. The cook heard the king's order. He scratched his head. He did not know what to do. Today there were no striped fish from the stream. The cook only had three plump shrimp. That's fish. 
Uh, well, it's not fish, but it's seafood. The cook had to think fast. He split each shrimp in two and put them on a plate. He spread the sauce on top. The meal was set before the king. The king took a bite. He threw down his fork and gave his plate a push. This fish tastes strange, said the king. It is not my order. The cook stood in front of the king. Sir, I had no striped fish. The king gnawed on a bit more shrimp. Then the king shrugged. The king smiled. I think I like your shrimp better than the striped fish. Tomorrow I will eat shrimp again. Each night the king had three shrimp with sauce on top. Okay, here are our high frequency words. Before, my name comes before your name in ABC order. Front, push the cart in front of you. Heard, had you heard that the plane will fly tomorrow? Push, push the cart in front of you. Tomorrow, had you heard that the plane will fly tomorrow? Your, my name comes before your name in ABC order. So remember, we are talking about uh, the pronouns I and me. So in this sentence, thank you for getting it for me. So me would be the pronoun because the verb getting is before. Now if it said, I, I am getting, you wouldn't say me am getting. So this time, the noun, the pronoun is here, the verb is last at the end, later, later, not at the end, but later. So if the verb is first, you say me, generally. But if the verb is after, then you say I, generally. Okay, friends, I hope that made sense. See you tomorrow.